and um, with me I've got Mr. Hagaratz from uh, from the Netherlands to Hello give us everyone. his take on this uh, on this table tennis set. And then during the badminton, I'm going to be joined by Casper Jonsson. Uh, and then during the uh, and then during the squash, I'm going to be joined by uh, Max from Germany. Nice. So and then I think in the tennis, presuming that, the, that this match goes to tennis, we've got Morton who's going to come and give his his take on this as well. So um, got lots of good elite players coming in as guest commentators. So so, uh, Karen, what how do you t how do you what do you see? Uh, th how do you see this table tennis? I think everyone sort of said, it's, it, with regards to the the match itself, it's going to be pretty important. Pretty important. Yeah. Well, what I noticed in, in record long. Uh, in general, that the table tennis can vary a lot. Yeah, like it's a big swing. Yeah, it's a big swing. Like in squash, you already know it's between yeah, five yeah. or ten. Yeah, 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 yeah. And in table tennis, it can be either way. So yeah, yeah. Um, but what I do like about both of them is that they really try to play like a table tennis player. They uh -huh. have a good technique. Yeah. They touch the ball really well. Also, you see that in in their uh, warming up. Yeah. They're playing like a real table tennis. Yeah, player, yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I'm excited about this. Yeah. Um, what do I think about it? I, I haven't seen them play a lot of table tennis, yep. but when I see the scores, I saw all the results. Yeah. And I'm impressed by Leon's result in yeah, table tennis. Yeah, yeah, sure. So I think he might uh, take this one away. Okay, okay, interesting, yeah. I think they've played, I, I don't know how many times these guys have played. I think they played very early on in Leon's sort of career when he was still a fairly young junior. I remember in London, and then they played. I think it was in the quarterfinals in Leipzig in the last World Championship 2019. I think that was even, right? Yeah, that I think close. it was close, but I think, um, but I think, yeah, yes, was won the table tennis up to now. But I agree that the. Awesome, good shot. So you already see Jasper is trying to be really Jasper is trying to be really aggressive. Yeah, that's his his that's style. His game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what I like about him. Yeah. Nice. Wow. Nice rally. Nice rally. Great block to my Leon yeah. there. Yeah. And that's what I expect of the whole match. Like, Leon will be a little bit more consistent, and Jesper yeah. will play his shots. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm curious about as well. Jesper has a really good serve. Yeah. So I'm yeah, that's, I, think, I think how Leon deals with that serve is going to be really, really important. Exactly. Yeah. I think I I in his career, Jesper has, uh, because of his really sort of very, very attacking style, he's often got really, really good results against yeah. good table tennis players. I, I was really afraid of playing yeah, him. Yeah, sure. Because yeah. He's, not, he's not playing like the normal no, short no, stuff. Yeah, he's sure. playing really... Yeah, sort of long serves and, 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 yeah. and attacking forehands. Yeah. And it's just difficult to... For I would have been happy with 21-10. Yeah, okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look, look the serve is yeah, crazy. Yeah, it's good. I cannot read it as well. Nice. I think when I when I've when I've spoken to Jesper in the past about sort of how he's developed as a player, I remember I had a conversation with him that one one of the one of the sort of key areas that he that he really, really, really practiced was developing a good serve at table tennis and, and he and he said that he said that from the, you know when when he plays against other players in, in the in the league in Denmark they often say that his serve is is way better for actually the level he's at <laughs> table yeah. tennis wise and actually he's got a better serve for actually the level he's playing at well, well, and, and so he's really practiced that a lot his serve is I think like like level of top division. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. his level is not. His yeah, spins exactly. are too, He makes too many mistakes, but his service yeah, is yeah, exactly. top level. Yeah, top yeah. Notch. And he just just within racket line, it's such a such a great way of winning easy points. Yeah. That that that's why he puts he's put so much practice into into developing that serve. good Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Also, it suits his game. Like it's attacking, it's, yeah, it's yeah. making variations. Yeah, it's yeah. And Leon is much more conservative. It's the first backhand. It's the first backhand he's 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 got right. I On think the he, table. I think he's missed every one so far. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what I'm surprised about. If he's keep missing that, if he's gonna change his game to a more conservative yeah, game, because yeah. it's not. Mm. 
good serve. Yeah. Yes, but his serve is really keeping him in this at the moment because most of the runners are onto Leon, but yeah. Yes was really controlling controlling things on his own serve. Also which one? Yeah, this is better. If, if I would have uh, you'd have to coach Jesper, yeah. I would say the first, just push it back. Let yeah. Liam try to make a mistake as well. And yeah. then when you have a good chance, yeah. just take it in. Don't try to make all the first ones. Yeah. Nice. Good. Good shot. And I would also say that's the, the, the beauty of the table tennis where is that really I don't know what the score will be. No, uh, yeah, I sure. Yeah. I have no idea. Yeah. Uh, again, he's not first back well, he's missed a lot of those backhands early on, but now yes was got those last two in to win the point. So he's gonna be feeling better about his backhand side at the moment. Oh. Okay. Okay. So that was a First half, really dominated by Jesper's serve, <laughs> in yeah. many ways, I'd say. In many ways. Yeah, yeah. I, I think Liam got three on the table. Yeah, yeah, at yeah. Most. Yeah. So, I think, I that's think Luke will coach him, or? Uh, coach him? I don't think, I don't know. Like, maybe I, I would say to Liam that he might take five centimeters behind to have a okay. little bit more time to read the serve. Okay, yeah, yeah. And to Yasra, I would say, keep it calm. Yeah. You're good enough. You're yeah, good yeah. enough player to. Yeah, sure, yeah. I think Leon needs to try and get a read on these serves. Oh, good serve. Nice. Uh, that's that's good. good one. That's good one. That's good. Yeah, that's nice. good because that's a key serve that Leon Leon hits that topspin side spin back uh, backhand serve yeah often into into their back it, and he's, he's he's dealt with it yes was dealt with both of those same spin serves on both yeah. his forehand and his backhand and he's attacked both of them yeah maybe yes was not the right player to play those no. serves because he might miss them but yeah if, if he gets into roll you're gonna be on yeah that's good by Lit. Oh. Uh, that's unfortunate. And, and if I have to look forward to the rest of the match, I think Leon really needs to win the TT. Like hey, yes, but Oh, Leon. 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 Like yeah, okay, yeah. Because otherwise he will be down before squash, and then it's going to be quite hard. Yeah. Although I think there's, I mean, uh, I'm not the one to make this call, but there's 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 definitely some people who think that Leon can win the badminton. Yeah, he might. Yeah, I, Leon I, could I'm win. I'm impressed the by his results so yeah, far. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but yeah, I would agree that. My, I don't. Know, before the match started, I, I nice. Th yeah, really good. Before the match started, I, I thought I thought I had Rats as a as a as a small favourite. Yeah, me too. As well. Yeah. But Liam Somewhere. is the only one this tournament who has yeah, a real chance. Yeah, yeah I think so, yeah. And Sylvian did a bit. Yeah, yes. well, yeah, we didn't know that before. <laughs> we wouldn't have said that before the tournament, but yeah, he played a, he played a great first match. This is going to be an important stage now. Leon needs to try and get this closer. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, okay. Right. So we're now at 16 12 to Jesper. Leon to serve. Well, again, again same uh, yeah. long serve again, and Jesper's got onto a bit of a roll, attacking, rolling that uh, yeah. back end. He started really poorly in it with his back end, but now it's really nice. Yeah, it's wow. Oh yeah, okay, that's better. He's done. Gone he's short. done shorter, made made Rat to do something different, and he, and he missed the return. So 17-13 to Jesper. No, he's missed that one as well, Leon. 18-13 so again, still struggling with um, with Rats' serve. Yeah, that's good. It's a very really nice push, huh? Yeah, a very, very aggressive push by Leon. That gave yes, but no time. So 14-18. Oh. Tricky. <laughs> I think... 
Okay, no, no, we both said that was the wrong serve, <laughs> having lost, having failed, but that time Ratzer went along with it, so he won the point, 15-18. Yeah, nice one. Okay, that's an important point to win because he's now 19-15 and he's got two serves. So he'll be looking to try and finish. You'll be he looking to try and finish this now. He needs to win one of those because yeah. he needs to get 17 at least yeah. to, to be in the game. Oh, yes. yes, Leon's got it. That's Good amazing. return. It means he's going to at least have one serve. But 16 19 now. Awesome. Oh, it's great by Leon. Just when he really needed it, actually. Yeah, he needed it. Because at 19-15 down with two serves from Jesper, that wasn't looking good. But now he's 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 won both of those serves yeah, for the so maybe for the game. first time. Yeah. Uh, that's not oh, the right. Serve. No, it's not the right serve. But I think the the second half of them has been great, good level. Yeah, it has been. Yeah, ha has been a lot of mistakes. Yeah. But now they're making good points. Okay. Congrats to Ratzer. Nice Ratta, one. Ratta. I, I, I'm pretty sure I would. I, I thought he would do this, but I think that was by far Ratzer's best table tennis game of the yeah. tournament. Yeah. Nice but yeah, I think he's gonna do try and keep it down and, and yeah. not, um, when he has the chance, but not smash too many too much. Yeah. I think this should be a great match. Oh yeah, definitely. I think they played two, maybe two years ago. Yeah. Also, I think Ratzer won that. But I think, if I remember, they they played two two years ago in Leipzig. Then they also played in the World Championships in in Zurich here in 2018. Yeah. And I seem to remember that was very close. I think you're right. It was like someone won by two yeah. points or something. Yeah, exactly. Um, but then, but then Ratzer won sort of maybe to 14 or in in the last time they played yeah. two years ago. Oh, that was actually a smash. Maybe he right. decided he wanted to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <okay. laughs> He told me he, he was not going to smash a lot. Yeah. So. See. That's long. Or in? It was out, yeah. Yeah, it was out, yeah. I think if he keeps serving uh, short, uh, Lian Ratzer is going to really attack it, I think. Attack the, the yeah. short serve. Okay, and yeah. start doing that. Good rally, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a really uh, really important uh, uh, the the badminton now for Leon because yes. after he didn't win the table tennis, he has to win. Yeah, he has to, yeah. yeah the, the badminton. Yeah. So let's see if he can handle the. Uh, yeah, he, he needs the to pressure. play. Yeah, yeah, he needs to, he needs to yeah. accept that challenge. Really, not not let it, not let it affect him too much. He just needs to yeah. play his game. See, uh, deceptive shot, shots by Ratzel. Yeah. yeah. And also, an issue with Ratzel could be that. I know in his game against uh, the French, uh, what's his name? Sylvan. Uh, Sylvan. He, he got tired yeah. after some long rallies. Okay, so yeah. Uh, let's see how much stamina he has yeah. if, the, if the rallies get long. Yeah, yeah, sure. That was a good rally, but good, good point by Leon there. Yeah. He had, he had Rats to move, scrambling around a little bit there. Yeah, I mean. Um, Ratza has been, I think he he trained maybe three or four times badminton uh, okay. the last six weeks. Yeah. Uh, 
he got invited to to, to join a, a team in Denmark, and he he went to practice a little bit. So okay, his his level is still pretty good, but yep. I think it's the the stamina, the physical and the, side, yeah, yeah. physical side is not yeah, as good sure. as it was. Okay, yeah. Oh, nice, nice. nice. And then just looking on the on the other side of the net at Leon, what do you think the sorts of things that Leon needs to try and do against Ratza? Um, actually, like keep keep him keep him from the net. I would say uh, keep him from the him, net, pump yeah. him with the long balls and yeah. keeping it down like he does now. He doesn't yeah. want to give him uh, any chances to uh, to be in the uh, so Ratza can make a. Um, a cut or a smash. Yeah. Okay. But I think it was it's best for Leon if 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 the match gets hard like yeah, long, long rallies. Yeah, long rallies. Yeah. It's a shame he's missed that on the net. So Jesper up seven five at the moment. I think we've got. I'm not sure what the time is, but I think I know I've got. There's a car load of people currently travelling from here back to the UK, and they they <laughs> asked me on the commentary. Because they're not going to be able to watch it. They aren't going to be able to listen to us. They want, it, they want me to try and keep reminding them what the score is. Like, a bit more oh, like okay. radio commentary. <laughs> because they're going, to have, they're going to have me on the phones. Um, but yeah, 760 Jesper. That's for Ray and Dan in the car. Yeah. Let's see if I can nail the score like I did in the table tennis. Yeah. I predicted 21-17 for Ratsa and table tennis. So <laughs> That's pretty good. That's a pretty good, <laughs> a pretty good prediction. I said 21-15 for Ratsa and uh, in, in uh, badminton. Okay. Seven all now. F for the for the game and the excitement, I think Leon has to win it. So yeah. Let's see. Oh, that was short. Oh, that's a good shot. Yeah, nice shot. But you see, he's not, he's not smashing no. an awful lot. I think he did one smash, maybe lots of, and, and Leon isn't either. Actually, no. he's that. Although, although, to be fair to, with with Ratza playing his ears, he hasn't had much opportunity to smash. Ratza is keeping it very flat, isn't mm, he? Yeah. Exactly. Does Leon look, look a bit tired? I think. He's, I feel like Leon's got his, his body language is a little bit like a little bit like that. I think. Yeah. Okay. I think it's more just maybe disappointment in how yeah. a few of these points are going. I, I think physically he'll be he's fine. But yeah, he's seven nine down now, and Rats has won two points there again by flicking from the net. Oh, well, that's done it. It's a mistake by Rats there. But that's the right sh uh, strategy, I think, for Leon to keep it long, yeah, uh, long to his backhand, not, not to the net, because I think Ratsa is better at, at um, when he gets a chance at the net. Yeah, nice, yeah, nice, 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 nice by Leon. That's brought things back to nine all. Yeah, let's see how how tough uh, Ratsa is now. Nine all, Mike yeah. starting to get a little tired. Yeah. And has he been playing a lot of squash? I mean, I'm just thinking physically no. how much playing squash mm. helps your sort of fitness on the Babinson court. But is it, I guess it's also quite specific, as in the fitness. I between would say surprising, surprisingly little. <laughs> I found out uh, that there's some a lot of difference between uh, being really fit in, in squash and yeah. being fit in badminton. Right. Because okay. it's, it's a lot more explosive in badminton. Yeah. Uh, okay. And up and down. And yeah. Sure. Um, okay. But, but he. He's not as fit as he was maybe two years ago in okay. squash, but yeah. he's still, he can grind. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So at the halfway break now, we, Rats has gone in with an 11-9 uh, lead. And like we say, we really, for the sake of the match and for Leon's chances, we, we think that Leon really needs to find a way to win this Babinson set. So he's going to need a good second set, second half. And maybe, as Casper said, the, the, the chance for Leon there maybe is if things do start to get a little bit physical towards the end of the set. Yeah. That he maybe Leon can take advantage of that. If they get like one or two 
two or three really tough rallies. Yeah. We might see Ratsa starting to be a, get a little windy. Yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Right now, the, the, there hasn't been that that long rallies, so I think yeah. it's going to be fine if they continue like this. See, now Ratsa starts with the with the high serve. Leon's put that in the net. I should. I actually think uh, Leon should do that tactic. Serve high to yeah. Ratsa, yeah. It's great defense by Ratsa. Yeah, he has a hard time getting his past him. Yeah, so that's frustration from Leon there. Yeah. He had several attacks at Ratsa there. Mm. He wasn't able to finish the rally. Yeah, let's see how mentally strong he is now, Leon, because uh, we yeah. saw also a little bit uh, Luke uh, in the in the bronze match against yeah, sure. uh, Morden that yeah. he kind of like gave up or yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. cracked a little bit yeah. um, when it started go going bad in, in badminton. Uh, yeah. So it's important that Leon is uh, stays. Yeah, yeah, stays on this. Yeah. Well, he's lost the first three points in the yeah. in the second half, and he's currently nine fourteen down. So he needs to. He really needs to. Stay with Ratsa here. Oh, that's very well played by Ratsa. He feels on top of the game. Now. Yeah, he feels on top. Yeah. When he does that, uh, yeah. when he does that long walk around, yeah. <laughs> you know he's feeling good about himself. I'm surprised Leon hasn't tried. Uh, he's only served c a short in all the. Yeah. Uh, he hasn't done as a, uh, a long serve yet, so that's a good smash. Yeah. Eleven fifteen now. Leon to serve. He's still serving short. Just put that wide. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Close, but it's gone wide. 11 16. See, he. Ratsa really has so many uh, variations. Options. Yeah. At the net, yeah. Oh, oh. that's a great smash. Nice. Great smash by Leon from really quite from really quite deep. I think he's he's starting to feel it now, Ansa. Yeah. He wants a little break. You're the one who can uh, see the body language. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, you're a training partner. Oh yeah. Even though it's usually me. In yeah. The last <laughs> okay, couple yeah. of years, it's usually me that gets tired against him, but yeah. Good. This is an important move by Leon. Just from 15-9 down, yeah. it wasn't looking good, but he's he's back to 13-16 now. Well, I think this is the it's, 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 it's these crucial moments, oh which, yeah, is, which, is, which is which is which is where Rats is really at his best yeah, for me. Exactly. Just as a match player, he recognises the importance of yeah. situations and he invariably pulls it out the bag. I know, yeah. He's really mentally strong. Yeah. I would say that's one of his yeah big strengths, yeah. yeah it is. Yeah. I think he, he recognized that last point mm. at thirteen sixteen. Leon had a run of points and he just played a really nice point there to go seventeen thirteen to stop the momentum for Leon. Oh 
just guessed right. Yeah, he did. Uh, it was well played by Leon, but it was a good guess by Ratzel. Very important that, um, yeah, he gets to, he, he should at least Oof. get my, up to maybe 17, 18. Yeah. Otherwise, it's going to be really tough. Yeah. This is, I feel this is, for Leon to stay in the match, these next three or four points are going to be absolutely crucial. Yeah. Because at 14-19, that's not enough. Otherwise, he has to play the squash of his life. Yeah. Uh, and the tennis. Oh, that's not long. So set point to Ratzer. Leon to serve, 14-20. Good set by Ratzer. Really good set yeah. by Ratzer. Yeah. Yeah. And potentially if he goes too short too often against Ratzer, then Ratzer can then get in front of him and use his wrist yeah. as deception at the front of the court, which is going to yeah. cause some problems. So, yeah, we'll have to see. Yeah, it's really important now who's like hitting the better length and uh, dominating the tee. So yeah. that's the first point quite important. And a decent start for Leon with the first point. Yeah. I think the other thing that Cass was saying during the badminton set that um, he thought that although Ratch is still in good shape, he thought that he probably is not in as good physical shape as he was two years ago. Um, and so the other possibility for Leon is maybe if he can make it quite physical, particularly in the first half, and make, make Rats a work. That that's another way in which he might he might get some some joy. Yeah, I agree. Like uh, if Leon is able to extend the rallies, yeah. Then in the second half, if uh, Ratza maybe get a bit tired, yeah. Then Leon can use his very strong volleys, yeah, to dictate the game. So yeah. maybe that's also a tactical. That's out of court. Yeah, but I think uh, uh, yes, for Ratza is. Uh, Cross court, uh, cross court shots which really fade in the back corner, yeah. so that's really tricky to dig out. Yeah. Yeah, that's the that's the problem that we, we highlighted at the start. There is that Leon's done in short there, but Rats has got there quick with time to spare. And yeah. there's then counter drops and put Leon under pressure. Yeah. yeah. And actually to the front, like, uh, Ratza has uh, quite a lot of possibilities. He yeah. can flick it, trickle boast it. Yeah. Like, he's quite a good in that. Yeah, he is. He's good in that area, yeah. Nice little rally now. Yeah, this is the first real long rally we've had. Oh, it's a it's a oh. Now Leon is playing good. Yeah. Get Ratza moving. Yeah. That's a good width by Leon. Let's dodge. Uh, It's another good attack by Leon, but again, Rats is blocked to the front. That's just what Morton was unable to do. Uh, it's a really good rally. Yeah. That uh, was a really good one, but uh, despite losing the point, I think it is still a good ball for, uh, like, rally for uh, Leon because yeah. he put uh, like work in the legs of yeah, uh, Jesper. So no, he did, for sure. Yeah, Leon, uh, yeah, Rats are definitely had to work for that rally. Yeah.
And now a few lengths are coming. Yeah. See who's the first who's attacking. Uh, I would imagine Leon will be the first. Yeah, Leon's done in first. Counter drop by Ratza. And they reset the rally. Yes. Yeah, that's and that's a tight length by Jesper. Yeah, yeah. Squeezed it. Yeah. Squeezed Leon on the, on the forehand side there. So 5 1 to Jesper. It's a good start for Ratza. Yeah. I think now uh, Leon has. Uh, to be really like concentrated to not let uh, Jesper run away too far. No, it's sure. But I think the the problem for Leon is maybe what's going through his mind right now is that he's he's played some really good short attacks, and they've all come back so far. So I think the problem for Leon right now is he's thinking how does he win a point? Where's it, where where is it, where are his attacking options? Yeah, because at the moment, Ratzer is soaking soaking it all up and getting to everything. That's that's uh, again yeah. good attacks by Leon. A bit of a scramble by Ratzer, but he's got the, he's got them all, and now he's in back in the rally. Now some tight lengths. Yeah. Oh. Ah, and there was a slight chance for Leon. Yeah, it was, yeah. But he missed it. Yeah. But I think still it's good that Leon is playing a positive squash. Yeah, I'm, to be fair, I think Leon's played. Leon's played these first seven points really pretty well. Ah, and that's a nice Nick Waller. Ah, uh, yeah. To get a tap by Leon straight off the serve. Yes. Into the cross court nick. Actually, his brother also played a few with the backhand, even. So yeah, yeah. Not bad. Yeah. So Leon serving now, 2 7 down. Uh, that's a good serve. Now he has a chance. Ah. I think he's put that down. Uh, that was an uh, easy mistake by uh, Jesper. Yeah. But that's the point uh, yeah. into the squash match. Yeah. Good serve. And then. Yeah, he's finished that. It was up. Yeah, it was up. Yeah. So Rats are 8 3 up. That's uh, a good very finish. good volley. Yeah. That volley went uh, straight into the neck. And yeah. yeah. Clinical finish. Yeah. Probably uh, Leon's best uh, part, part of his game is his wingspan and then like the very lethal uh, volleys on both sides. So that I can really like they are not finding the length. Yep. But yeah, Jesper is pumped up. One yeah, can yeah. hear him. He really wants now to Finish get this. the title. Yeah, he does. I spoke to uh, Magnus in the previous matches and he made the point. He, well, he sort of asked the question. Really, was was whether Rats of winning this World Championship which would then bring him equal with Miko with six World Titles. Whether that kind of history would weigh on him a little bit in any way, similar to how, to how it's a, we, we've talked about how it, Djokovic struggled to do it at the U.S. Open when he had the chance to for the for the Grand Slam and to be, and also to become the a yeah, golden the slam. The golden slam, and also to, to become the p first person, well, to, to go ahead of Federer and Nadal, and it, it seemed like the pressure actually got to him. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's right. But I think, like, uh, I think in, on a general level, uh, like Jesper has his mental plays really in yeah, order. Yeah, he he's does. Yeah, he's really very uh, good I mean, on the side. Just the way he's played this whole final, I think we can yeah. safely say that he's that that sense of added pressure is not affecting his game at all. Yeah. Yeah. I think we we can both agree that he's playing his best match here. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. the whole tournament. So. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that but was until now, we'll see what happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. May. A mistake by Ratzer there. He's now serving at 10 5. Now a few lengths again to see who has. Ah, oh, it's gone out. Yeah. So Ratza, Ratza goes up. Um, Eleven five at the break. Just, just, um, just during this break, I, I know that uh, we've said that, and uh, on Facebook that I, I was going to make a, a little, quick announcement about some of the dates that we have for the tour for 2022. So I'm just going to use this opportunity, just to run through. Uh, the date with a, f a few of the details that we're working on for next year's tour, just to give people a little bit of an exclusive who are, lis who are listening. I am, I warn you, doing this off the top of my head. <laughs> so I'm, if I forget anything, then uh, uh, I may forget something. But the, we're going to make an official announcement during the week. Um, but very quickly, the sorts of tournaments we've got planned for next year. In, in we're going to start in February this year with the Finnish Open. Um, in March, early March, it's going to be the French Open in Paris. In the middle of March, we hope to finally get our, our challenger underway in Spain, in Alicante. Um, and then in April, we're looking at the uh, Nick Matthew tournament in Sheffield, hosted oh. by Nick Matthew, and it, where he's in a play as well. Oh, that's probably a really interesting one. Yeah, that's going to be a really interesting one for sure. Uh, and then um, later... Uh, Later in April, we have a, we're going to have the first. We plan to have the first ever Moscow Open in Russia, which will be the first time Racket Long World Tour has ever ever gone there. Um, so that's later in April, and then in in May we're looking to have the Malta Open. Uh, hopefully, the King of Rackets at the end of May. In June, possibly go back to Rotterdam. Um, end of June, back to Switzerland for the Swiss Open. Just watching this rally. They've just started. It's a big rally from the front of the court, but Rats has got it. Yeah. Um, in July, uh, we have uh, the Latvian Open and the London Open at the Roehampton Club. In August, hopefully, the, the German Open in Nusslock. We'll just finish this rally before we continue on news about the World Tour. Oh, oh, what that's a, that's a great kill by Ratza. That was a really nice uh, <coughs> drop yeah. shot by Jesper. Yeah. Oh. And so the World Championships next year, which is going to be the singles, teams and doubles, are all going to be in Austria, in Vienna and Graz at the uh, 19th to the 28th of August. Um, in uh, October, um, after the World Championships, we're then looking at a, a a new a new run of tournaments where we've got some different options but certainly we want to go to india for a couple of a couple of tournaments there in in uh, end of october start of november um prague is going to be again in november and then all being well we're also going to have our new world tour finals in dubai um so that would be the that's how the, that's how the world tour is shaping up that uh, what's the prerequisites uh, to participate in the World, world Tour finals? finals? It's going to be a little bit like the World Tour race, really. So people to play in the World Tour finals, you're going to have to qualify by getting a certain number of points through the through the season in 2022. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, and so th that's going to give people again a, more of a more of a motivation to play uh, the tournaments, and it will it will put a bit of a focus on the second half of the tournament after the World Championships as well to, to lead towards that World Tour finals. But we'll make a full announcement about the World Tour later later on next week, um, with all with all the details. So, um, but yeah, it's looking it's looking very exciting. 
so back to this final. Jesper's firmly, firmly in control, and he's he's on his way. He's on his way to history. Yes, and to it. If uh, Lien has not now a good spell, um, it's likely that uh, Jesper no won't even need the need tennis. The, need the tennis, yeah. Yeah, I think that's the reasonable uh, decision. There yeah. was a bit of space. Yeah. So uh, let us award it here. Although Leon seems a bit unhappy about it. Yeah. Wasn't a great thought by a uh, shot by Jesper, but yeah. No. Yeah. So yeah, if, if Jesper does finish this match off, which he looks like, which he looks like he's going to do, he will win. It, he will would have won his sixth world title, which will put him equal with. Miko Karkainen from Finland. And on top of that, one has to say that he also won a European Championships. He did won a, he won a Europe. Uh, did he win a, wasn't it? He didn't win 2017. He didn't, he didn't play in it. Um, but the, he may have won a European Championships. There was one in Prague in 2015. I don't know whether he... I, I know that he didn't win the European Championships in 2017 because he didn't enter. It was, that was run by Ravrikovsky. Ah, yeah. Who beat Leon at Leon in the final, actually. Yeah. Um, but, yes. Oh. Oh. Was that that was, was a really nice uh, volley uh, drop shot by yeah, Leon. Yeah, it was. 6-14. Yes, and Leon is not giving up. No, no, no. You can see his fist pump. He's yeah. still... Wants to make a good impression and yeah, yeah I think that's good. Yeah, it is. Nice little trickle boost yeah. on the forehand side of Jesper. He's got such tricky hands at the front of the court because of his all comes from his badminton. That, yeah. that, that the, yeah. the ability to put his hand out way in front of his body and just either flick long, flick trickle boost, or 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 bring it in for a drop shot. It's very and very he's hard. He's really to doing read. it in the last second, so it's really hard yeah. to read. Yeah. Some nice digs by Leon. Yeah. And a uh, boast roller yeah. by Leon to finish the point, to win the point. So maybe now the squash is heating a bit up. Yeah. I mean, I think the other thing just to say about this, I mean, looking ahead for year to the years ahead, it's also a little, I think there's a little bit at stake here as Jesper's trying to make his mark on Leon, and Leon's just trying to make a little bit of a mark on rats to, to sort of say you know when i see you in a year's time will be a different game yeah but also just to show him that you know the squash isn't going to be completely straightforward yeah <laughs> nice little drop Uh, Leon's done some running in this rally for sure. But he's staying in there. Another ch attack by Jesper. Yeah. Good lift by Leon there. Yeah. Actually, it's some really good lifts on really tight balls. So yeah. they're playing really strong now. Both both of them actually. Yeah. Yes. Uh, that's a great finish by Leon. That was maybe, maybe the rally of the match, that one. Yeah. That was good quality all the way through. And that's going to do... That's going to do Leon some good to, to win that rally. Yeah. That's a let. Yeah. A bit of traffic issues, but uh, yeah. no big deal. No.
think here another lead is awarded. Yeah. But again, Liam played a very decent uh, length, yeah, he where did. Uh, Jasper was quite far away, but due to his great first yeah. speed on his first steps, he plays the ball. Oh, that's now some tight lengths. Yeah, this is the quality's really gone up actually. Yeah. Just in the last few just in the last few rallies. Uh, again, good width. Good width yeah. by Leon. Yeah. Jesper wanted to volley this ball. Uh, but yeah. yeah, the rift of uh, Leon was very good and this was really hard and just yeah. starting maybe to see a few signs of Jesper starting to maybe slightly struggle physically. Just a, he was she took a long time after that point and was down on his knees a little bit. I think he's so close to, he's so close to the finish line, I think he's gonna be able to push himself over it, but if Leon is able just to extend the next few rallies and win them, could see him come back into this set. Oh. Yeah. But that's that's a really great rally again and yeah. Again, that was again. It was uh, Ratz's wrist at the wrist at the front. He was able to get onto that drop shot and flick it straight. Very difficult to read. Yeah, and that's now like a little problematic for Leon because if he's now not winning a few rallies, yeah. then uh, Ratza will hang in and yeah, yeah. It despite being maybe a bit tired now, like he will still then win. So yeah. Uh, Rats are covering the front front of the court there. <coughs> he knows that Leon is very happy to go in short. And again. Yes. Yeah, that's good. Another good short attack by Leon. There were maybe four or five short attacks in that rally Rats have got them all but that last one was absolutely glued to the side wall yeah so 16 10 to Ratza. and that's always a good thing if you play really a tight drop shot uh, even if the opponent is able to get the ball he cannot do a lot with it because it's tight so you don't give him angles yeah so that's a, that's definitely a good thing of Leon to play that yeah, for sure. But I'd say, I think Ratza is definitely feeling it at the moment, physically. But he's such a great competitor. I think he, he'll, be able, he'll be able to last for a, a few rallies left because he knows he's so close to finishing this match off. Oh, it's a shame. That's the first mistake Leon's made in a little while. It's a shame. 17-10 to Ratza. That was another really good yeah. kill by Jesper. Very tight and Very hard. Tight. Squeezed him. Yeah. I think Jesper's getting excited on court now because I think he is definitely feeling it physically, and he knows that he knows the uh, finish line is close. Line is close. <laughs> definitely. But I think in t theory, Leon is already in the tennis. Uh, no, not yet. I think if he loses this... If he ah, yeah, yeah, he needs to make one yeah. other point. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So that's probably some kind of motivation of Leon. <laughs> yeah, sure. And Ratzel. Yes. Bit of wide length now from both players. Yeah. Ha. 
heavy volley, but now nice counters and nice no let. Yeah, that's a no let. Yes. And here we go, we have the first championship point <laughs> for Jesper. And the spectators now are enjoying the match. Yeah. Give some standing ovations for yeah. the players. Which I think played a really decent squash, both of them. Shot. And Jesper is bending a bit over. Yeah. Oh. I don't know whether that's because Jesper knows he's got to play <laughs> tennis or whether it's because he's <laughs> running on fumes. Yeah. That's probably a nice question one can ask him, but yeah. Yeah. I think he touched uh, Leon with the rackets. Probably they play a let, but... No, Leon wants... No, he's dropped the point. He's, he's given a stroke. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's given a stroke. So Rats has won that 21-11. That makes him 21 points up. So in theory now, Leon still has a chance to beat him <laughs> yeah, if he wins yeah. 20... One points, points in a row plus the gummy. Plus the gummy, yeah. yeah. Um, and, and yes, you're completely right. It's just something else when you go and play a racket on match. So obviously yeah, his yeah. first match will always be the most shaky one. Yeah. But then he, he sort of gets himself together uh, yeah. during the tournament. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, I think you're right about that. With, the, with, with that in mind, if, you, if, we, if, if, if we're drawn you against... Yes, we're in the first round. Yeah. How do you felt? I mean, I would spare the flight tickets first of all, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, because that may be I your I best. I uh, maybe your best chance. That would have been my best shot at, yeah. at him for sure. Um, but on the other hand, I mean, I'm also shaking the first match, even yeah, though I yeah, played sure. a lot more record on tournaments. Yeah, yeah, so sure, yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I think that would have been a situation where I would oh, really. Oh, just the first point. Yeah, it is. Right, they're playing the and first it's point. Going to be the title there. No. Oh, oh it's in. <laughs> enough of the stories, Duncan. Wow. I mean, that's great. Yeah, enough of the. Oh, it's out. Is it out? Or was it out? No. Oh, it was out. That's it. Uh. Wow. Yeah, wow. What a game. Well, I mean, what a game. I'm, I'm going to. Uh, yeah, well, there you go. Rats has done it. We we spoke with Madness earlier about whether the pressure of him becoming the, the um, joining Miko as the six-time world champion would whether that would play any play any effect on his on his performance. Um, but yeah, no, he's played a fantastic fantastic final.